All right, so we've been having a ton of fun teaching our horses to lope off. Now I'm gonna get a little more technical and give you another little tip, okay? So I've done the left lead, all right? And I've worked on that left lead. I've gotta to get to the right lead. But I wanna show you one more exercise you can do, all right? So I'm gonna repeat the exercise I've been doing, which is pushing this hip around, all right? And now I'm switching to the right lead. So I'm using my left leg, I'm pushing this hip around, okay? All right, and then watching their body weight, I'm gonna draw her back just a little. Good girl, because you're gonna feel a difference, right lead to the left. And asking her to walk up to her face. I want her free in her front end, but see there when I did that, she dislodged her hind end, okay? And I would like her to stay, she was good up front with her front leg, but kind of dislodged that hind end. So I'm gonna just ask again, pushing that hip over. Good. Drop, how's her body weight? Good, she stood up to it. Walking her over here. I'm adding some more left leg, because I want this hind end, I don't want her, I don't want her to be uncoordinated with her. Okay, so I can see she needs a little work. I want her to lift, reach, not take her hind end into my leg, but just be real accepting. And we're gonna just almost walk this little circle and pushing her forward because I just felt like even there as I dropped her, she just dropped her front end. I just don't feel she's balanced in her exercises. You're okay. She just needs a little bit of warm up this way and a little encouragement. Good girl. And also I need to remember and remind you, every lead is different, right? The right lead, there. this feels a little more balanced. I'm gonna do my lope off, we'll see where we're at. And that wasn't what I wanted, okay? She hesitated, looked off, balanced herself. And I can see that this way, she didn't want to fall into the position quite like I wanted it. So I'm gonna to bring to a trot and I'm gonna get some motion going because what I felt I lacked was impulsion, right? So as I'm varying this exercise, I can see that she needed some help this way, just a little bit of impulsion, okay? Good girl, good girl. And I'm gonna lope out from this trot. And she lifted up and was unbalanced into it. Not my ideal. It was accepting, but it wasn't good. It wasn't balanced. It wasn't what I'm trying to teach you to do. So I gotta show you some bad examples, right? You're okay, mare. And she'll get a little bit worried through this process. She's a mare. Some mares get sensitive. She's not really too sensitive. Just gets worried, better, softer. Okay, again, again, I need to help her through it. So now what we're doing is we're trotting in a tight circle and loping off out of that, seeing if we can just build some acceptance and softness out of her. And we'll go back to our exercise. You're okay. She's like, let me do it for you. And I'm like, nope. That's part of having a really well-trained horse. Did you know that? When your horse waits on you, that's what you want. When they anticipate, you're always going to have trouble with it. Good girl. Better. Relax. There. Whoa, that was a lot better. She tried harder for me. I'll take that. But I had to vary my program just a little for her, huh? You may too. So remember that. There she walked out of it. She's a little wanting to go to that front end. So I've got to work on that. Good girl. 
if you liked these tips, let me tell you, they're just like an appetizer of what's available. The full meal and all the information is available on Team Hokana Video Club. These are just tidbits of the knowledge that's available to you for you and your horse to make them excellent. Team Ocana Video Club has all your answers. Broad variety of subjects, over 230 videos on there to choose from, all categorized and selected. You can learn from the basics and colt breaking all the way to going into the world championship arena at the world and winning it. I'm telling you, it will answer your, your needs. So join Team Ocana Video Club today. I've used the TR3 Classic Drag to keep my performance horses at their peak. And now I'm so excited to say that we now have that TR3 E-Series. There just isn't anything better than that TR3 Arena Drag to help make my performance and my program complete. So no matter the size of your program, good footing should matter to you. So contact ABI today and get your Arena Drag.